Now this tutorial shows you how to create the motion guide animation technique. Now this animation technique allows you to use a special kind of layer which is the motion guide layer. Um, they use this layer for the animated objects to tween and follow along a certain path. So basically here you would need two layers. One layer would be for the um, object okay, that you would follow on the path. Let's say for example, I'm going to make here a fly. Okay, so just a quick one. Simple fly. And then, alright, so I'm just going to make an oval one. Rotate it. It's alright. Okay, and it's still the same one, but I think it's better to use the object drawing mode so that even if we overlap the shapes, doesn't destroy it. Here, and I'm just going to change it with a different color. There you go. And then you press Q to rotate. Okay, and then you can drag it. So this is the the flies wings all right Oops. Q to transform there you go and just duplicate this alt click and drag Q to transform and then all right here we go so let's say this is our fly that we wanted to follow on a path so since it will be moving following the path we have to convert this to a movie clip so highlight your fly convert it to symbol you can press F8 or you can right click convert to symbol and then I'm just gonna name it fly click OK I think I already have another uh, fly here so I'm just gonna name it fly underscore F for final click OK and then okay we're just gonna name this layer here fly so it's easy for us to manage just in case we have a lot of layers if you create your um, a different animation with a lot of layers later on no so once you have your object that you wanted to follow on a path so you need to create another layer for the path where you draw the path so here in um, Adobe CS5 you just have to right click on a certain layer let's see in this case it's fly layer and then choose here add classic motion guide so once you've done that, automatically it will add a new layer, a special kind of layer with a special kind of icon, which is the, the motion guide icon. Now, so I want you to select okay, the, um, the motion guide layer, and from that you can draw a path where you want your fly to follow. So use the pencil tool, or you can press letter Y, to draw your path and you can scribble using the pencil tool on the stage depending on how you want the fly to move across your stage alright so once you have that you can set now the duration of your animation for the fly so to do that let's just say the animation is going to be on the until the 85th frame so just select both of the frames okay, um, the 85th frame for both of the layers Okay, the guide layer and the fly layer. So selecting F, the 85th frame, you can right click. Okay, you can right click on it and insert a keyframe. Let's say on the fly layer, do the same thing as well. Right click, insert a keyframe, or you can just press F6. Now, go back to your fly layer and set the um, the initial position of your fly. Okay. Once you select your fly, you can see that there's like a little circle in the middle. So that's going to serve as like um, a guide that you have to snap this little circle to the first end. If your fly is too big, you can make it smaller. You can press Q to transform. You can resize your fly. Right. So I'm just going to zoom in. Control plus. And then select again your first frame. Okay, select and move your fly using the move tool. And make sure that this little circle would snap to the first end of your path. And since, as you could see, the fly is facing backwards, so you could press Control, press Q, and you could rotate it, rotate your fly. There you go. 
So let's say that's the um, initial position of your fly and try to select the last keyframe and in here okay, you could set um, the destination of your fly. So since we resize it on the previous keyframe, you can resize it again here. So keyframes represent different pictures. So to just here, just resize it. Okay, so I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, and rotate it so that it would appear that it's moving towards this direction. And then on the 85th frame, try to drag your fly using the move tool and make sure that it's the little circle would snap to the other end of the path. So here on frame 1 we have the starting point or the initial position of the fly and then on the last keyframe in here it's 85th frame um, we're snapping the fly to the other end. Okay, You can only do this if it's a moving clip. And once you've done that, okay, you just right click in between the keyframes and create a classic tween. So this is for Adobe CS5. Okay, So Adobe Flash CS5 classic tween. So once you hover or you, you run or you move your playhead across the timeline you can see that the fly is moving. Alright. So just in case you wanted to adjust the position of your fly making it look realistic you can also add just add some keyframes. Okay, let's say F6 here or you can right click okay, insert a keyframe and you could also just manipulate the position of your fly to make it look realistic <laughs> that it's moving following this path. No, So you can just adjust and you can do the same thing in between the different keyframes. So right click, insert keyframe and change the rotation of your fly. Okay, and then move it. There you go. Okay, let's say in this part here you want to adjust as well right click insert a keyframe and you can rotate it just in case you need to um, make it mo look more realistic no? so you just have to change add keyframes on the layer fly and just rotate your fly and you can do the same thing for the remaining frames now when you preview this so I'm just gonna press control enter so you can see that your fly is moving across your stage which is by following the path so once you've done that, okay, that's already your, that's how to do the motion guide animation technique.